Okay, I'm just trying out the, uh, the little turbine, the cyclone, and this is on the boat, and that's the knots we're getting. They're supposed to be uh, going up to uh, four, five, six. Well, there's 23 knots now, 20 knots, 18. You could ask, add about an eight onto that, so that's over 20 miles per hour. I can't get it to turn into the wind with this stupid yaw thing. I can't get it to turn into the wind. The wind is coming in here and uh, I, if I manually turn around and it's in the right position it, uh, it starts flying around but then it starts coming back around again. It's come around and then she comes back. She should stay open, stay open. But I can see what she's a bit dark here now. Right, I'll take this uh, little solar light. See, I have it rigged up here now. Don't mind the uh, the neutral and positive being uh, in the wrong place. It's just these uh, SAE connections. Um, you nearly have to get everything as a pair. So this is off the battery charger. So. Now oh, let's just see. Yeah, 13, yeah. I can only keep it into the wind. 11 is no good to me. Needs a hell of a lot of wind to get it to up over 13 volts. And this is a 5 bladed which is supposed to have a cutting speed of 6 miles per hour. Very little seldom has it gone over. That wouldn't charge a battery. I and mean, the battery voltage went from 12.5 up to 13 volts, so that's useless. Not even, there's no point to even connect it up to the battery. It would want to be producing over 13 volts. There now, so you want to be staying up to 13. But it doesn't. Yeah, she's just not staying with the wind. The wind is coming in. It's uh, catching a bit now. She's probably reading high now. Yeah, if I could. Can I keep her up there? I can't. I mean, so clearly below 20, 20 mile per hour you're going to get no, you're not going to get your uh, 13 volts that's for sure. I bet you she's turned away again in half the wind. Yeah, there she is now. Doing absolutely nothing and the wind is blowing. That rate you'll be better off with the fixed one where you could just Turn it to where the wind is blowing. It's not the greatest, but sure this is useless. Absolutely useless. Right, there's a gust of wind on, on, on me now, and that's just it's it's sideways to the wind, quite honestly. She can't generate if she can't generate in winds like this. Look, 15, 16, 17, yeah, so much for the inbuilt controller, 18 volts, supposed to be controlled at 14.6. Now if I could keep in the, that direction, I could charge, alright. Uh, it's turning there now. I've connected up to the battery and I have this uh, battery monitor and as you can see 12.6 volts she's not gone up and she's discharged because I have some instruments on like the, the, the wind the wind speed 
This thing ain't going to give me an amp. I'm afraid of waste of money. Concept was good, but it's just not doing it. But the yawing is an annoying thing, and uh, even when you have it into the wind, you move around and she's whizzing around, you're just not. I could see it there with the voltage. Occasionally she came up with the voltage, way above spec. But for most of the time she's below 12 volts, and so that's not going to put anything in. And as I say, this is a 5 blader, which is supposed to operate at lower wind speeds than, um, than the 3 bladed. I can hear her whizzing around there now. I think they not. At one stage with a big gust I saw zero behind zero amps. So you could say that was what 300 milliamps going in. 